what's up guys it's your girl chris love it's a day today today i'm back with another video yes another freaking video y'all so today i am going to be posting a how to do like passion twist chunky passion twist shoulder length y'all but i made this video a few days ago before i got sick now i'm sick I have a fever cold so I just wanted to come to the introduction because the bit, rest of the video is like, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm very tired. The rest of the video is like a voiceover, so yeah, and I sound kind of sick in it because I did it when I was sick, the voiceover part, but the rest of the part is just like, you know, the description of how to do it. But if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll answer them because hopefully i explained very well i tried to get it the best way possible but before we get into the video going smash like button subscribe turn the post notifications to every couple of little because we live over here and i'm gonna try to put the uh, time stamps in the description and also sorry i haven't posted in a few days because somebody passed away in my family so that's what's wrong but i love y'all go ahead and enjoy the video y'all pray for me in the comments since i do not feel well but I will see y'all in the next video. Hopefully I can get this right by tomorrow and I can be posting again every day. I love y'all. Bye. Okay, so right now we're showing on freshly crochet, mm, <laughs> freshly parted hair. We're gonna put jam gel, the red kind on. It really depends on what you wanna do. Just make sure you saturate it really good because we did the part today before, so we have to do so much on the day of. So that's what I'm doing right here. If you want to see how I part my triangle parts, uh, I'll do another video. Okay, so right here, I am sticking the crochet needle in first, then pulling the hair through. So that's why I'm slowing it down. I'm putting the needle in first, y'all. Don't try to put the needle in with the hair. I did that so many times and didn't realize it. So see how easy it went through? Yeah. Okay, so once you got the hair all in, you want to make sure it's even on each side because you don't want to be like me and not do it even. So right here, I'm going to start braiding it and then I'm going to twist it. Even though I crocheted it and I am still going to braid it. So that's why I slowed it down here. I'm just braiding it regular like a regular braid. And then I'm going to twist. You also want to make sure you don't break it down too far, probably just a fingertip. The hair also gets really tangly, so be careful. That's what's going on here. Once you get the braid part complete, you want to just twist it all the way down to the end and seal it with the rubber band at the length you want it, and then cut below that. When twisting, you also want to make sure each little dent, nodule, whatever you want to call it, curl matches up because it won't look right if you don't do that. So that's what I'm showing you right here. Make sure that you twist it slow. Just twist it slow. I wish I would have known this because it saves so much time. Right here, I'm just sealing it with the rubber band at the length I want it. She wanted shoulder length, so I'm going to cut it right there. But I'm also going to cut it a little shorter, so yeah. But you'll see later on. The rest of the video will be me just doing more of them. If you want to see me crocheting it in there, a better view skip to the end i'll try to put that in the description but i hope you guys enjoyed um the final final look Ooh. the final look is at the end so i hope you guys like it it was a really cute style it turned out really good and i hope you guys enjoyed the video sorry my arm got in the way my big chunky arm got in the way oh my gosh see y'all later i love y'all i'm sick right now so if it's and my voice sounds weird that's why i love y'all and i'll see y'all in the next video bye